Hello, I'm Ross Harfacree. I'm the owner of Junjira. We're on a 40 hectare property in the beautiful KPT Valley, which is northwest of Sydney. This property uh, we bought um, around about eight or nine years ago, um, following some travels in this area of New South Wales. We saw this property for sale, we uh, loved it, and we bought it just for a place to come and rest and relax. There's no commercial interests on the property. We are simply here to enjoy the beauty and the calm of the, of the property. The Cape Tea Valley um, has around about 240 species uh, of birds and 10% of them unfortunately are endangered or threatened. So in conjunction with uh, Bird Life Australia and the local land services, we're working hard to improve the environment and the biodiversity to get some of those birds back, particularly the Regent honey eater. We've got a very close relationship with bird life, with the landowners and um, local land services is a support crew really for bird life to transform the valley over many years into what it is now and what it will be into the future which is an amazing habitat for birds. So what we're looking for in the habitat for the Regent Honey Eater is actually flowering because it's dependent on the nectar from the flowers. But if the trees are too close together, they can't spread out and flower like a good tree should. And so we're trying to help that process along by thinning some of the trees. To ensure that we're doing everything the way we need to and follow all the legal procedures, we engage the Sustainable Land Management branch of local land services and we work together to help the landowner navigate his way through the paperwork and make sure that we tick all the boxes. The challenge here was that the trees were out competing each other for moisture, nutrients and light. So we needed to um, provide a uniform thinning certificate that allowed the landowner to understand what stem density was required so that they weren't over thinning or under thinning. This solution was found under the Land Management Native Vegetation Code. So as you can see here Ross, this area has already been thinned mm -hmm. and it's opened up the, the canopy for these existing trees. So you yep. can see how tall and skinny they've become because yep. they were competing with each other for nutrients, moisture and light. Yep. And none of them were going to develop into to good specimens for, mm. for reproductive phase to produce yep. flowers for the Regent Honey Eater. Yep. What I like to see here in the Cape Dee Valley is, is more landowners doing the same thing that Ross is doing here. It's a very special place and uh, we need to attract more Regent Honey Eaters and other woodland birds here. We do want a biodiversity, we do want uh, a number of different species because it helps support the eucalypt forest. We prefer to plant a lot of bugger iron bark because it's the prime regent honey eater species. The eucalypt has been a successful tree for thousands of years and uh, it has a tendency to outcompete anything else which is why we might end up with too many eucalypts that we have to thin. In the long term, I'd like to see us uh, complete the further stages of planting on, on the site um, and have it attract uh, the honey eater and other birds and that really have it as a place where the honey eater might fly over and have a look and think about making it home, come here, stay and thrive. That would be terrific to, to have. I'd also like uh, other people to look at the property and what we've done and maybe take away from that some good ideas uh, to, to increase the biodiversity on, on their real estate as well. It is absolutely critical for us to work with landowners and have them take ownership and be stewards of their country because they're the ones that are there and they're the ones that know what's going on. In working with all the areas within local land services has been uh, terrific, been very professional. They've provided me with all the information I needed to, to make decisions. They were with the science. They took into account the, um, the time I had available. But above all, the passion and the dedication they, they had, is, uh, it was infectious. And uh, I'm looking forward to continuing the, with that relationship. Mm -hmm.